Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this video, we will be learning all there is to know about the gumball feature in Rhino. To follow along with this tutorial, you really do not need the file provided in the training package. Just the simple cone will work. The axis plane indicator can help a lot with navigating and orienting one's model in space. It's the small icon that looks like a window frame. Depending on where you view the axis plane indicator from, it will change its position accordingly. And not only that, the crosshairs of the icon will change colors varying between red, green, and blue to represent the three axes. Then there are the move arrows for the X, Y, and Z axes. I would hope you know these three at the very least. To move our object, we can click and hold to drag and move our object freely. Short click to enter an exact dimension to move with. You can also short tap alt to place copies of your object as you move. All three axes have three rotation arches as well. We can manipulate the rotation in the same way. Click and hold to freely rotate the object. Short click to rotate the object to an exact degree. Our scale handles are the three large squares opposing each axis move arrow. We will use these three handles to scale each axis. Hold shift to scale all axes equally. The free move origin is fairly self-explanatory. It is the white dot that represents the origin of the gumball tool. We can change this origin using the menu ball, which is the large white circle splaying outwards from the origin. Click the circle to pull up the gumball menu. We will select Relocate Gumball. To set our orientation, we will select three points from our three dimensions. Simple as that, we have relocated the origin of our gumball. And that's it for exercise 43. I hope you will join in on the next exercise, where we will get more practice using the gumball tool. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a thumbs up, check out my other videos, and subscribe.